America's love affair with the car may be as strong as ever, thanks to new designs and features to satisfy every driver's needs. Did you see anything about this one you like? Uh, the, the interior, with the you can do a lot of settings with the dash. It doesn't have much uh, an actual radio. It's all touchscreen and, and in there, so it's different. There's so many car lots around. What's different here? All in one place, really. I mean, you get to see them all. You get to sit in them without getting pestered, I guess. And, of course, there are the new models that aren't available yet, including the latest Ford Mustang convertible coming out in August. Art Bacon found a Honda Ridgeline and a few others, too. A lot of it's more dreaming than anything else, so get an idea how much cars cost and what they get for mileage. And it's a good way, better than reading that bottom in a magazine. Window shopping, possibility shopping, you know. But they really got some extra cars in here. I'm really digging all these cars. That I really am. Yeah. What are you looking at that you like? A blue car. A blue car. Is it a big one or a small one? Big one. Well, there you go. That's the style, right? Mm -hmm. You're limited. It's got your leather, your heated seats. Car dealers might well see more sales this year. They're already pleased to see auto sales last month were higher than auto sales in February of 2011. In eastern New York, retailers say registrations for new and used cars combined were higher last month than any February since they began tracking it in 2006. I think actually there is a little bit more consumer confidence in the economy perking up. I think that the array of new models and the technology involved and the gas mileage and everything else is attracting people to make some purchases. The 24% jump in car sales over last February suggests there's something to that. And a display like this can only tempt showgoers to give the industry a boost. Craig Smith, CBS 6 News.